everyone. We will start with our OT survey on the book of Ecclesiastes. We are already done with the book of Proverbs, and now we are here in the next book. Uh, also, uh, appeal siya sa mga wisdom book. No? So, Ecclesiastes is named after its central character, Kohelet, which the NIV translate as the teacher. It is one of the three OT wisdom books. The OT wisdom book wrestle with how to live wisely amid the many challenges of life. So we know what are the wisdom books. No? We have uh, the book of Proverbs, the book of Job, and this one, the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes brings us into the journey of the teacher as he works through him, his struggle about the meaning of life. Ecclesiastes ultimately affirms life and joy, but only the result of his struggle with the brokenness of life in a fallen world. So this will be interesting, kay amazing ang mga naisulat dito po sa book of Ecclesiastes. So the content, uh, we, ha we have the overview and background, the authorship and date, occasion and purpose, genre and structure, specific advice for reading Ecclesiastes, what are the key verses, what are some special considerations, what are the unique features, the major themes, and theology. So let's start with the overview and background. So the book of Ecclesiastes comes to us from an editor who has compiled the Proverbs and teaching of an Israelite king who calls himself Kohelet. A title that alludes to his role as a teacher of wisdom is an assembly, presumably, of God's people. So we see in the book of Ecclesiastes, there's uh, uh, the one, the, the narrator, the one who ang, ang nag-compile sa mga teachings, no? of an Israelite king uh, who calls himself Kohelet. Accordingly, pwedeng itong Kohelet is si uh, King Solomon. Pwede rin ang the one who, who wrote the book of Ecclesiastes is King Solomon also, but uh, there's no uh, strong evidence that will tell us that it is King Solomon who wrote the book of Ecclesiastes or the Kohelet is uh, si King Solomon din. So a prologue in chapter 1, verses 1 to 11, sets forth the concern that drives Kohelet's whole enterprise, namely the Hebel. So ito yung parati natin makikita doon sa book of Ecclesiastes. Means breath, vapor, in NIV version, in NIV, I mean, meaningless. no, Meaningless, meaningless. So yun, nature of human life uh, in a world that continues as it was before and after anyone's lifespan. So ganun yung point ni Kohelet, no, like, parang, life is meaningless. You will uh, live right now, and then later on, you'll die, and then you will be forgotten. So, parang ganun siya. Anyway, so, we'll see, no? Bakit siya nasali sa Bible, ang book of Ecclesiastes. There. So, the book concludes with the words of the editor-compiler who encourages, so yung, yung, yung last part nito, makikita natin yung words ng editor-compiler, who encourages contemplation of Kohelet's words as goads for the young, also warns that there is a proper limit to such speculation. We can see that in chapter 12, verse 12. In the end, this is uh, one good thing, no? He makes sure that all is within the ultimate setting of biblical wisdom. Fearing God by keeping His commandments gives meaning to human life. Ayan. So, this is yung, koan, yung part na ito ng Ecclesiastes. So, the words of Kohelet himself are enclosed. Makikita natin dyan, uh, from chapter 1 to verse 2, up to chapter 12 to verse 8, although there's a part in the middle na pumasok ulit yung narrator, but in chapter 1 verse 2 to chapter 12 verse 8, we can see yung words no, ng Kohelet. Words of Kohelet by the melancholy refrain, refrain, Hebel, Hebel says Kohelet, Hebel of Hebel, everything is Hebel, everything is meaningless. The rest is an inquiry into how one should live in such a world since reality isn't as neat as some expressions of tradition, traditional wisdom might lead one to think. So if you read the book of Proverbs, wow, ang ganda talaga. Very uh, maganda talaga yung mga wisdom na makukuha natin. Very positive. And then when you read uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, parang nagre-real talk siya dito. No? Uh, very strong words and 
sometimes it seems very negative yung mga points na binibigay ng author or ng 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 Kohelet, ni Kohelet. So, authorship and date. So, the narrator presents the teacher as Solomon in uh, chapter 1, verse 1 and 12. But many scholars now think that the teacher was not Solomon, but one imagined as Solomon with his wisdom and power. From 12, 9, uh, chapter 12, verses 9 to 10, the teacher was a wisdom teacher who carefully gathered and arranged his material. Okay? Yun yung uh, the Kohelet. No? But we don't know. We do not know who the narrator is also, who presented the teacher saying. And so overall, the author of Ecclesiastes is unknown. Although daghang kaayong mga theories kung sintay nagsulat ani no. But overall, we the, the author of Ecclesiastes is unknown. The date of composition, it is also unknown. Uh, there are so many mga binibigay nilang mga uh, theories no and uh, uh, assumptions on when ito nasulat but uh, it's still unknown. We don't know the specific uh, date. Scholarly guesses cover a broad range. It is likely written in the post-exilic no, after the exile period, probably in the 4th century BC. So at that time, during the post-exilic period, it would have appeared to many in what was left of Israel as if God's purposes with them had run aground, thereby giving rise to the sort of questions that the teacher struggled. So parang ganun yung naging uh, yung, 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 ano ba, yung setting. However, we cannot be sure of when Ecclesiastes was written. The occasion and purpose. Kohelet refers to one who speaks in the assembly. So which probably implies both a legal and a political setting. So makikita natin yung setting doon or the occasion. The purpose. Uh, Ecclesiastes helps the reader develop a God-centered worldview and recognize the dangers of a self-centered worldview. Okay, this is the purpose of the book of Ecclesiastes is it does not only describe the life of faith or teach what the responsibilities of faith in God are, it also prescribes or prescriptive the limits of human philosophy. So, makikita natin dito kung papaano klinaro ng, uh, ng author no, na uh, human really are uh, koan, may limit. No? We are finite being. We are not like God, we are not infinite. So even our knowledge is also limited. In, in our standing, we are also limited. So there are questions in life that uh, hindi natin masasagot. No? At walang kasagutan din. There. So the book teaches that people are accountable to God and should avoid self-indulgence, which leads to exploitation other, exploiting others for selfish Gains. Okay, this is also the purpose. And lastly, it shows God's people how to meet their challenging problems. Sa mga problema sa ato ang kinabuhi, how we should face it. Because at some point, no, na atay mga feeling nga, murag dili lagi ko deserve to experience this. I have been so faithful, obeying the Lord, and so and so. And why is this happening to me? So if you read the book of Ecclesiastes, we see how uh, it tells us how also to deal with these concerns. How about the gender and structure? Again, Ecclesiastes is a wisdom book. However, unlike Proverbs, but like Job, it also has a story or an autobiographical dimension. So its structure is organic no? rather than strictly logical. So kung basahon ni mo ang, ang, if you read, uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, you can, you will, you should not get just part of it, no, because you have to read it as a whole. It it is an organized nya, ko ano, kanang collection of of this uh, teaching. So dili siya pwedeng kuha kuha ratang parts of it and then uh, uh, na, interpret, no. But we have to study it as a whole. The narrator introduces the teacher to us in chapter 1, verse 1, sums up his struggle, makita nato in verses 2 to 3, and provides a poem that evokes the depths of the teacher's struggle. Maabot na dito from verses 4 to 11 of chapter 1. 
And then in, chap in, in verse 12 of chapter 1, the teacher himself comes on the stage. And in 12 to 18 of chapter 1, we have he explained his quest for wisdom. Inana ang dagan, no? Apart from seven point, ah, seven, chapter 7, verse 27, which only plays in the main body of Ecclesiastes, where the narrator's voice includes, no? So, makita na to. We only hear the teacher speak in chapter 1, verse 12, hantud chapter 12, verse 7. So, doon makikita yung... Uh, pagsasalita ng teacher or kohelet. In 12, chapter 12, verses 8 to 14, the narrator concludes. So pumasok na dito balik yung narrator. Uh, the narrator concludes the book with the epilogue. So Ecclesiastes 1, 2, and its repetition in 12, 8, form a frame for the book, alerting the reader to the theme that Ecclesiastes explores. Ayan. Mukhang mabilis tayo ngayon, no? Specific advice for reading Ecclesiastes. So this is very important, no? Kapag magbabasa tayo ng uh, book of Ecclesiastes, these are some of the reminders. Specific advice for reading Ecclesiastes. First, <coughs> whatever else, Kohelet was written within, don't forget this, Kohelet was written within Israel's wisdom tradition. A tradition that was not trying to speak for God in the same way the prophets did, okay? So, but one that was musing carefully on life to teach the young how to live well before God. So, iba ito sa mga prophets, no? But this is part of the wisdom book. So, Israel wisdom was written within Israel wisdom tradition. What else? Somewhat, somewhat like the author of Job, but in contrast to some who might mechanistically apply the book of Proverbs, ang... Um, uh, the, the ways of the creator convinced Kohelet are past finding out. So uh, he was convinced, no, the teacher Kohelet is convinced that the ways of the creator uh, jud na masabtan jud tanan tanan uh, it, it, uh, hindi siya maintindihan talaga lahat no, ng uh, near human. Di natin maintindihan lahat lahat yan. We cannot understand everything no? or uh, past finding out. Although he maintains a sturdy trust in God throughout and believes God to be just. Okay? He nonetheless finds the real world not nearly as predictable as, for example, Job's comforters, kabalutan, no? kinsa ni sila, do. Job sees a sure cause and effect to everything and thus represents a kind of wisdom. No? Kabalutan siya sa mga marabag sure cause of why is this happening? That Kohelet is likewise reacting, reacting against strongly. There are things that we cannot really explain because life is not like that. Even if you do good, it's not always good in return. If you do bad, it's not always bad in return. This is in the context of here living our life on, on, on this world, no? here on earth. Other specific advice for reading Ecclesiastes. Four realities dominate Kohelet's perspective. <clears throat> First, God is the single indisputable reality, the creator of all and the one from whom all life comes as a gift, including, ha, for Kohelet, usually burdensome nature, including this burdensome nature. God's ways are not always, if ever, understandable. Okay? So, kung there are things that seems to be uh, not making sense to you in life, it's not always that we can understand everything. Yes, God reveals and God gives us answer, but there are things that we cannot understand because of our limited mind and understanding. Next, on the human side, what is done under the sun simply is not tidy. Indeed, much of it doesn't add right at all. The way things should be, like the righteous get the good, the wicked get the bad, is not in fact the way things are. At least not consistently in this present life. Hindi consistent na ganyan ang nangyayari. Even if you work hard, you will receive this. No? And if you're not working hard, you will not receive this. Hindi, hindi always ganun. Hindi siya consistent. The great equalizer doon, dito para sa teacher, no, si Kohelet, is death. 
which happens to reach, of course, this is also true, no? which happens to reach and poor, wise, and foolish alike. Given Kohelet's lack of hope in the resurrection, then once you're dead, that's it. Without memory, forgotten, no matter what your life may once have meant, and it is the reality that makes life seem hebel, meaningless. Even if you do good, even if you leave a legacy here on this world, 100 years, 1,000 years after, you will be forgotten. So it seems life is meaningless. Hebel for Kohelet sins, it means swiss of air or vapor. Most of the time, he uses it as a metaphor for the nature of human existence. But what metaphorical pride does it carry? Ang, ang kining hebel. A tradition that goes back to the Sept Septuagint translates it emptiness, nature of human lives, along with its companion chasing after the wind. Another tradition followed by the NIV goes for meaningless. Yes, meaningless. So even read from perspective, Kohelet's wisdom is not altogether comforting. But overall, it is an orthodox book. If someone misses any mention of the significant events of Jewish history, that is in keeping with the wisdom tradition. So if one feels squeamish about great but contradictory realities set side by side, that is probably because we too, like Job's comforters, prefer things to be tidier than they are. Like we think this would happen and it, it, it did not go just as how we anticipate or expect it to, 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 to happen. But in the end, even Kohelet does not leave the young dangling. One way is to be preferred to the other. The so-called contradictions serve to highlight that fact. The Christian believer who now reads from the perspective of joyous hope in the resurrection and the certainty of divine judgment should all the more be prepared to appreciate Kohelet's embracing of life in the present despite its heavenly nature. Yes, despite its heavenly nature, but we have that hope. So if we are reading the book of Ecclesiastes, nandun yung beauty nun eh. Kasi uh, we see that this tempo, tempor, uh, this life here on earth is temporary. No? Kining, kining mga butang diri sa uh, kalibutan karon sa, sa earth. Uh, everything is meaningless meaningless you know? like uh but but we we hope for the kanang one day we will all be uh resurrected we will be having a glorified body and we will be together with the lord uh forever so key verses we have ecclesiastes one two vanity of vanity says the preacher vanity of vanities all is vanity Ecclesiastes 1.18, for with much wisdom comes much sorrow. The more knowledge, the more grief. Ecclesiastes 12.1, remember your creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come and the years approach when you will say, I find no pleasure in them. And Ecclesiastes 12.13, now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole whole duty of man. So I hope, uh, yeah, those are some of the key verses. No? Uh, special considerations. Again, Ecclesiastes is one of the strangest books in the Bible. And it is very, very different from the book of Proverbs. If we try to read Ecclesiastes like Proverbs, treating individual verses as independent, ito yung sinasabi natin kanina, of each other and pulling them out of context, we can come up with some very unbible like statements. So again, if we read the book of Ecclesiastes, we have to get it as a whole. Hindi pwedeng kukuha-kuha tayo just like doon sa book of Proverbs. Another special consideration, Ecclesiastes must be read as an entire unit. It is an intellectual search for meaning in life. And it is brutally honest about observed realities in life. 
kasi yun yung talagang nangyayari. Especially incongruities and injustices. Ecclesiastes is very similar to Job in the respect that the answer to the search does not come until the end of the book. Yan. So we must persevere to the final chapter before we can hope to grasp what the author is truly saying to us about that. So when we read the book of Ecclesiastes, hantud sa mahuman na to siya. Dito na to makitaan ang mga tubag no, sa mga questions. Just like the book of Job. What are the unique features of this book no, to compare with other books in the Bible? Ecclesiastes asks numerous hard, penetrating questions about the purpose of life. Murashud siya real talk no, about life uh, on earth, the experiences that we have, and at some point, we can really relate. This book explores various unsuccessful avenues by which people find meaning like the wealth, hard work, pleasure, understanding, etc. So, mga unsuccessful avenues. The tone throughout most of Ecclesiastes is cynical and pessimistic. Yon, ganun siya para talaga siyang it, it's, uh, if you if you have watched um, the Bible project, no, how he compared the book of Proverbs, Book of Job, and the Book of Ecclesiastes. So you see, like, uh, his the, the teacher is like a critic teacher, no? The critic just saying uh, strong and more mga pessimistic na mga words, but real talk jud ang style niya. Ano ba? Mura jud si Sir James. Joke lang. The Hebrew word translated as meaningless or vanity occurs 38 times in Ecclesiastes. And Ecclesiastes presents observed contradictions to the norms of life described in Proverbs. There. Now, what are the major themes? Ayan, ano yung major themes ng book of Ecclesiastes? First is the retribution <coughs> principle. Tingnan natin no, kung uh, meron talaga to or, or if, if nag... Uh, go against ba or hindi. So the, the, the retribution principle, the position Kohelet comes to is an acceptance of the retribution principle. In theory, but, in theory, ha, but a denial of its ability to predict how one might fare in life or explain any person's current situations. Uh, in this sense, Kohelet agrees with the book of Job, but view the retribution principle as conveying something about God rather than offering guarantees in life. Yeah, when we talk of retribution koan, like when you do good there's a reward, when you do bad there's there, there's a, a ba? there's a consequences, no? Um na ay acceptance of retribution principle in theory, but a denial of its ability to predict how one might fear in life or explain any person's current situations because we don't know, no? Uh, sometimes we feel like we receive we, we deserve more because we do this and do that, but uh, how should one assess his own life or the life of other people. And only God knows and sees what's really in our heart, what's really happening, what's really the real situation of everything. And that's why uh, it's really God doing uh, the things na usahay dili na to masagda. Yeah, there. So both view the retribution principle as conveying something about God rather than offering guarantees in life. The fact that God will reward the righteous and punish the wicked in eternity is consistent. Consistent with Kohelet's belief that the retribution principle is true but cannot apply solely to this life. Dili lang sa kining kinabuhi dili. Because of course, for us Christians, no, the righteous will one day live with God forever. And the wicked no, will be punished no, forever for. Experience versus revelation. This is also one of the themes no, of the book of Ecclesiastes. The approach of Kohelet is not uncommon in evidential apologetics even today. So if someone is unwilling to acknowledge that God has spoken in the Bible, it is used to use the Bible to support one's case. So Kohelet built his case without any presupposition about revelation. Wala jud niya gigamit na. Puntan ako na to. Mura bag. Oh, wala jud no? He did not refer to the law or the prophets and nothing was said about Israel's place in God's plan or the covenant. Wala, Judna siya. His approach was 
pareha dito sa mga evidential uh, apologetics. His approach was philosophical and based on experience and wisdom. So the absence of the standard Israelite uh, elements of theology does not suggest ignorance or rejection by Kohelet, but may reflect an attempt. This is the, the kung ano, ang nga nung gilig ni, to address a wider audience. No? This is uh, may reflect an attempt to address a wider audience. Another major theme, Epicureanism versus piety. Uh, search na ako ng Epicureanism. It is a school of thought the I know in ancient Greek founded by Epicurus of Samos. So, unsa ni ang Epicurean dictum? There, naingon diri. So, some have worried about Kohelet's enjoy life. Na aman yun na agibutang dira, no? Sa Ecclesiastes, na enjoy life philosophy. It has seemed perhaps too close to Epicurean dictum. Eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow we die. Maraginahana ba siya? Moreover, he said little about a life of piety. Wala did kaayo, faith, or even good works, no? What of discipline, virtue, and morality? Where is the repentance or a sense of sinfulness? Wala kaayo in ana, no? So we must recognize that the book of Ecclesiastes is not intended to be a systematic theology. So Kohelet's primary purpose was to establish that life under the sun cannot offer fulfillment and offer an alternate world. So the philosophy expressed is not simply enjoy life. No, dili lang in ana, dili siya pariha sa Epicureanism. But enjoy life and fear God. It is not the abandonment of all for a life of pleasure. It is a responsible, optimistic integration of life and faith. If you have, if you read and understood the book of Ecclesiastes. Let's go to the last part, the theology. I know kinijun ang pinakamurag aganahan tang tanan to to, ano, to 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 know theology god needs to be at the center of our world view we are not in control of the times of life and many of the times of life can be difficult stability can only be found in a god centered approach god has imposed this limitation on us but has Put eternity in our hearts so that we might seek Him out. Yes, there are things that we don't understand, but we can only find security, stability in God. And because God put eternity in our hearts, we as human beings will seek Him with all His heart. Our heart. A God-centered worldview is willing to accept prosperity and adversity as coming from the divine hand. Yan. Kohelet deals with the co with not with the cause. Again, a reminder, no, for here in the theology, there is a Ecclesiastes. Kohelet deals not with the cause, that is, that God causes our fruition, but with the idea that adversity, the adversity, the problems, the trials that we encounter serves a beneficial purpose in shaping us as individuals and particularly as people of faith. That's why if we experience trials, problems in life, take it as a blessing from God because what matters to God is our character and through these problems, trials, we learn to depend on God. Our car we, The Lord is molding our character and our faith is growing. It is precisely the attitude Job took in the face of his troubles. Yeah. Last, enjoy life for what it is, a gift from the hand of God. This is what's the point, no? The author. Uh, enjoy life, fear God. If God is in the center of one's worldview, the pursuits of life can be put in their proper place, not offering a meaning for life offering enjoyment. That's the end of our OT survey for the book of Ecclesiastes. I hope you have learned uh, many things. So these are the references or the sources that our group, the tribe, Nefesh, use. We have the Wilmington, Wilmington's Bible Handbook. Um, we have also used the NIV Biblical Theology Study Bible, also Thomas Constable Notes on the Bible. We have also used a survey of the Old Testament 
uh, audio lectures, How to Read the Bible for All It's Worth, the Baker, the Baker Illustrated Bible Handbook, Old Testament Survey, uh, the message form and background of the Old Testament. We have also used Blue Letter Bible, uh, what else? And uh, Book of Ecclesiastes Bible, Bible Study Tools. Com. So uh, I hope we have learned many things no, about the book of Ecclesiastes so that when we, book the, when we read the book of Ecclesiastes, we, uh, we are now guided kung unsa itong mga dapat na ito uh, himuon no, while reading uh, the book of Ecclesiastes. All right.